everybody welcome back to the channel thank you for stopping back by I'm going to do something a little different um, with this kit I just got this in I haven't even been able to do a haul video on it um, I didn't have enough enough other kits to do a haul, vi a haul video so let me introduce you to mr. testers 1912 Ford model T and this is not 124th but, or 125th, but 116th scale. So it's a little larger. If you watch the Lucas C channel, he at his Christmas time video, he had a kit that is the exact same kit as this. I don't remember the brand that that kit of his, he had a lot of uh, sentimental value with that kit. He remember, I think his dad bought him that kit. Of course my phone's going to ring at that moment but um so this kit i just got it um i didn't know that it was even that same kit that lucas c had but i'm going to jack's con in november uh, november i always say november in um uh february the 12th and one thing that i have noticed is there aren't very many larger scale entries at, at least at the shows that I've seen there's just not not that many and I thought you know what this would be cool because it's a larger scale it's not 124th or 125th and I think it would fit in the category of large scale or something like that I don't know maybe not but I'm going to uh, I'm going to try and get this thing built I go against all my convictions about only having one and you can't I can't build if I don't have but one I'm going to buy another one of these. I'm going to restock the shelf, but this one never even made it on the shelf. As a matter of fact, it, it never, it, it, I just brought it in like yesterday into my, my uh, model room, but it's a cool kit. When I bought it, I didn't even know it was 1 16th scale. It's, it's from 1987. It's very simple, very simplistic. Um, there's not a lot of parts, but they're just a little bit bigger. And I think that's pretty cool. So I'm going to, and it's, te I don't know if it's testers, solely testers, it says in testers and RPM. The other kits that I have, for instance, up here said Fujimi testers, um, but this is just testers and it doesn't say anything about another company anywhere that I've noticed. Um, so anyway, I think these testers kits are cool. So I'm going to get these. Uh, I've already unboxed some of. Here's 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 the tires. It's pretty cool. Look how big they are. So big rubber tires, skinny, and I hope they're a little bit like warped. But they're they're rubber, so I'm have to put a little bit of heat. I've noticed if you put a little heat to these rubber tires, just warm them. They do fit better. But you can, as you can see, there's not there's not very many parts to this. It has a steerable front front uh, axle I don't really care if it has a steerable front axle or not but it does anyway okay I'm gonna get to work on this I'm gonna get it out unbag everything see what parts I need to get glued together glue some together and uh, I'll come back and, and give you an update so stand by all right so I got all the parts off of Pardon the heater in behind me. Got all the parts off the tree, other than the chrome or the gold. Actually, it's, it's a gold. Uh, yeah, there is a little chrome, but there's a uh, mostly gold. Um, found out that this has a steerable front act, uh, front wheels, so they steer a little gear. I don't know how good it's going to work. And also, it has a little rear differential that I guess just turns the drive shaft. So if you were to push the car, it would just turn the drive shaft as if it was, I don't know what that does, why they do it, but I don't know. I don't even know if I'm gonna hook it up. The little tires do in fact form well to the rims. And again, you can see the size of that. So that's pretty cool. So put it up inside of 120. It's, it's not gonna fit in this cabinet. I don't know what cabinet, I don't, I, don't even, I don't know where I'm gonna put this thing. I just thought it was cool. So, um, so I took all the, the, the 
everything off the tree. This plastic is like really hard. It's like not a soft plastic at all. Um, trimmed up everything. So the, all the flash, for the most part, the bigger parts, I've got all the flash off. Um, just going through the, it's, it's gonna be a simple build um, as far as not many pieces. But I want this to look nice. I want to take my time and to uh, build this up somewhat of a showpiece that would be neat although it's very simple so it doesn't have an engine the hood um, just stays closed the the chassis and the body is just very toy like but I think it's gonna build up nice again it's got this really neat picture here and if I can make mine look half that good it's going to be great. I'm not going to go with green wheels because I don't think I have any color like that. I'm not sure what color my tire or my wheels will be, but they won't be that green. Anyway, all right, so I'm going to continue to glue things together and we'll see how far we get and then have to get some paint on some parts. Stand by. All right, well, I'm getting some progress done on this thing. So far, it, it, this thing builds like a big toy. I hope it's going to turn out nice. If it, it if it looks anything like this, I'm going to be so thrilled, so thrilled. So, what I've got so far, I've got the big old chassis. Not really a chassis, but it is. It doesn't really have a chassis. Uh, it's definitely a curbside. You don't want to turn this one over for realism. But it's. I got the firewall in got the door i didn't even realize the doors hinged they, they unhinge too by themselves they won't, there you go but the um got the door got the front cab got the doors got the rear part uh mounted this seat goes in here like that these door panels go on and it really dresses it up i'm not gonna i'm gonna paint all those separate so I have the door panels and all in there like that. Um, roof would be on. It's gonna be. It's gonna be cool. It's it's really gonna be cool. I, it's it's definitely something out of the norm for me as far as scale, and uh, how it builds. It, it, like I say, it builds kind of like. Well, that built like a toy as well, because it was a toy. It was a motorized car before they just started putting it out as a model car. So this. I'm surprised it doesn't have a place for some batteries and a motor, but it doesn't. Um, steerable front wheels. Again, I'm not 100% sold on if I'm going to do that or not. Um, and the rear differential, I think, was supposed to maybe like turn the drive shaft, but I messed up already and glued the front portion of the, the output shaft on the transmission so it wouldn't turn anyway, so I'm not putting that gear in there. I mean, they sit on the shelf, for goodness sake. That's why I'm thinking, that's why I'm saying it builds kind of like a toy. It, it, uh, it, like the steerable front wheels. I, who does that? You know, that's die cast cars come like that, but it's kind of cheesy looking too, how the, the steering mechanism works. So probably just going to build this thing where it just sits there. Um, but it is cool. It is cool. It's like, um, taking a step back, taking a breath of fresh air and just saying, let's, let's do something new. And I think everyone needs to do that. We can get caught in our rut and forget that this is supposed to be fun. And um, I was watching, this is totally off the subject, but I was watching Charlie Mack last night. Charlie Mack, you built that Aurora kit, that 19, was it like 1910 Oldsmobile or Buick or something like that. I, I forget what it was, but I watched that. <laughs> and, and Charlie said, uh, if you hadn't checked out Charlie Mack's channel, I'm going to put it in the description below so you can, so you can go check out Charlie Mack. Um, he does great builds, but he said, you guys that are collectors, you know, yeah, put your seatbelt on because I built this kit. And this kit was in a 1962 Aurora, um, Aurora, whatever. Do you get sick of just looking at the same thing? I could turn this around. Anyway, Charlie was, he was, uh, he 
put together that Aurorachus, an old timey car. And I told my wife, because I am a stickler for like not opening old kits and things like that. I'm about to choke this darn jacket. And I told my wife this morning, I don't know if she heard me or listened, but I said, you know, it, I kind of wish I wasn't that way because that looks like so much fun to take an old kit like that. That's like taking, um, and, and the reason, reason I say that's because of what I'm doing here, something different, something with a little bit of this 1987 kit here, but to take and, and take a kit that's old like that and build it, it's like taking a piece of history and touching it, you know, and that sounds, might sound cheesy or whatever, but I love to watch old footage of on YouTube. There's old remastered footage. Like you can find a lot of Los Angeles, California back in the thirties and forties. Some person rode around with a, uh, with a camera in a car and they just filmed the city and you see these old cars. They just pass car after car after car. And it's just, that history is gone. Most of those cars are gone, but, but that footage is really cool. And when I watched Charlie open or show that box of that old Aurora kit and show that he built it and it looked awesome. Charlie, you did an awesome job on that. That thing looks so pristine. I thought that would be so much fun if I could kick my habit or fear of it being gone. Well, it's not gone. It's going to sit on Charlie's shelf, but no one else could build it. I think that might be what I, what I struggle with. No one else could build it. But when I'm gone, somebody's going to get this stuff. And I know a lot of you guys are right now saying, that's what I'm trying to tell you, Matt. I'm trying to tell you to open them up and build them. I still like to be a, to preserve some of those, some of that history, but I may take a crack one day and, and I'm going, I'm going against everything that I, that I, that I stand for as far as I'm, you know, a preservationist of, of the models. Um, but why miss that on the fun? Look, it looked like Charlie Mack had a great, great time building that. And I want to do the same thing anyway. Sorry for the side rant. Let's get back to the 1912 model T here. I, um, I like this. This is a lot of fun. I think I'm going to call this part one, even though this is very short, there's not even paint shot on it yet, but I want to go ahead and I don't want the video to be too long. I've already talked for like, like six or seven minutes on this. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a part. Uh, maybe I'll do another segment. I don't know if this video ends and yeah, I think, I, I think I will. I think I'll have, I think I'll shoot some paint and that'll be, that'll wind up segment number one and we'll we'll do this in two parts i don't know what color i'm gonna paint the wheels why would did they come with green wheels that's what i can't figure out i don't like that bright green wheels that's kind of weird um anyway all right guys stand by and i'm gonna get some more work done to this thanks for listening to me talk and uh we'll see what we can get stand by All right, well, the Tin Lizzie is painted. Here she hangs. Got it hanging up. It's basically you build the whole darn thing and then, um, then paint it. Can't see much about it because it's just straight up black. I, you know, I thought it's only fitting to paint it black because pretty sure that's the only color you can get a Model T in. So let me tell you what this is. Interestingly enough, I wish you could see this gloss. Can you see the gloss? There we go. A little bit right there. Um, didn't go to my MCW paint. Let me hang this up. Did not use MCW paint this time. Believe it or not. What did I use? <laughs> well... Let me see. Where is it at? Where did I put it? Here it is. So I used um, black primer right here. Rust-Oleum black primer. And 2K clear. And that's what that is. So that's, I was going to paint it. To be honest with you, I was going to paint it. I've got a bottle of semi-gloss 
I always put things in Kent. Oh, there it is. I actually have a bottle of semi-gloss MCW paint here that I was going to use. But I thought, you know, I paint. I had already painted the uh, everything black with the primer, which obviously primer's dead flat. It's even flatter than flat. And I thought, what if I just shot some clear over it? And yeah, so it's it's got a great shine there. And I'm not, yeah, I guess if you had to paint something black, if you had some clear, you could use, you know, just primer. I'm not saying that it's the greatest finish because the primer's not like, doesn't lay down flat and smooth as the, the uh, MCW. But for what this is, it's like a it's a Model T. I don't think you would have that mirror finish. Although in this box art here, I mean, they pretty much, it looks like a mirror finish. And I know guys that restore these might do that, but with this one, I sure wish you could see better about the, the, the it does have a great gloss. And I did the underside too, lightly, not a whole lot. And I don't want to set it down because it's still, still tacky but it's pretty cool the doors I have them taped see that I taped them open just a smudge so when I shot it I would be able to now oh, I got this thing down one more time I gotta hang it back up so I left the doors open just a smudge smidge smudge so when I painted that I'd be able to get paint inside the door inside the door jam area because they are working doors so what I have left is i have to paint the the interior panel so here is the seat i don't know what to how, what to paint this to make it actually look like fabric or um i don't know what this would have been i don't think this would have been leather it might have been leather the door panels as well i've got to figure out some color or something to paint them the roof believe it or not if you look at that roof which it looks great but it just looks like the plastic. But if you just leave it plastic, you can tell you've left it plastic. So I'll have to paint that with something. The front, the rear part of the roof, and then the chrome or the gold. It does have chrome. It's got these chrome running boards. And the difference with Lucas C's that I was speaking about, the one that he's got, I believe all of his chrome is actually, actually chrome and not gold. So this one, it's got gold and a piece or two of chrome and on his it's all it's all chrome another thing that i do notice uh this wooden piece here looks like a chopping block it looks like an actual piece of wood i mean this is what i've got to work with and i guess what i'm going to do is try to streak it up make it look like some make it look like a piece of wood that's all i can figure because i don't know how they get that finish and i guess that is the piece because I see a raised edge and everything. It looks to, does look like it. But anyway, go, this thing's going to go together really, really fast now that I've got the body painted. So what I'm going to uh, do is cut the video now. Um, yeah, yeah, literally, I've got to paint the wheels, the seats, the wheels, the roof. The radiator has to be painted and detailed with the Ford. The floor pans have to be painted. Um, and the uh, foot pedals here, foot pedal assembly, it's got like, they, have you ever, don't assume that a Model T just jumped in through it and first and just went. If you've ever watched anything about how to drive a Model T, it's like, it's very, it seems backwards I believe. You like had to push one of the pedals in to get it to go and then you shifted the gear and you let it, or, or I don't know if any of you guys ever driven a Model T put in the comment section how do you do that but it's not like but I mean this wasn't standardized this this car I mean all cars were different all, all car companies did things different it was like unique at the time cars were like unique now they're all, you know, if it's a stick shift, you know the clutch is on the left, you know it's gonna have, you know how to, how to drive it. You can jump in one or the other. That even goes over to big trucks and things like that. But with these cars, they were not that way. 
So it was like, figure it out for yourself. We're, we're going to do ours this way. And that is interesting. It's also right-hand drive. I thought that they were left-hand drive Model Ts, but maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe this was, who knows? I know cars were right-hand drive until a certain period, and then they went left-hand drive, unless you live in some Euro European uh, countries. Well, that, I guess that's um, just England and Japan and Australia. Anyway, wow. Where, where am I going with that? All right, guys, I'm going to cut this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you have not subscribed, I, I would appreciate it so much if you'd go hit that subscription button. Also, go join the Facebook group. This thing is growing so rapidly. It's, it's uh, here recently. We've had a lot of growth. Thank you guys for joining the, the Facebook group. It is uh, very informative, to say the least. Also, don't go over. Don't forget to go to Hobby Nut Models. Buy yourself some of this great MCW paint that I have right here that I didn't use, but should, probably should have. Go get you some MCW paint, maybe a model kit and some supplies. HobbyNutModels.com, linked in the description as well as the Teespring store. Go grab yourself a T-shirt or a hoodie or a coffee mug or a sticker. And lastly, don't forget to go check out the Patreon page or site or whatever you call it uh, with a monthly donation you can be included in the with the other patrons to get early access uh, behind the scenes type of things uh, footage that other that most people on YouTube are not going to get so go over there and check that out patreon uh, linked in the description um, five bucks a month gets you in and anyway guys that's all I gotta say thank you for watching this video and hopefully very very soon we will get 10 Lizzie. Look at that. It's not too bad. We'll get 10 Lizzie all buttoned up and take her to Jack's Con. Maybe. Depends on what it looks like. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care, and we will see you on the next video.